So let's go ahead and talk about a few different features that iOS 16 actually brought that Android, including Android 13, still technically don't have. Now I'll be making the exact opposite of this video, talking about some features Androids you have that you know iPhones don't have tomorrow. But I will tell you, as of right now, I'm comparing stock Android and stock iOS, and there are definitely applications that can probably circumvent this stuff and all that other stuff. But I'm talking about stock versions of software here and stock features. Now, first of all, one of the biggest features within iOS 15 was actually drag and drop. And I just realized this, but apparently there's no drag and drop for Androids. Now, like I said, this is the stock features. If we go and make our way over to this website right here, if I go and just, you know, drag and drop an image here, here's an image. As you can see, I can go ahead and drag this image and pretty much I can even drag this image and I can drag it to, you know, a note if I want to. I can just drag and drop it here if I want to. And that basically gives me the drag and drop type of experience. On Androids, we actually don't have this, at least on stock Android. I've tried this. As you can see, it just brings up this little panel. I tried going into another type of screen. For example, if I go and make my way over to something like this little website here, I still cannot drag and drop this image. It just comes up with this thing. I can copy the image, but there's no native drag and drop. So that was one thing I saw. On top of that, within iOS 16, we actually have the ability of unsending iMessages. So now natively within this, you know, specific application, we have the ability of unsending iMessages, unreading iMessages, and even editing sent messages that we had. Now I know like the, like Instagram and Snapchat and WhatsApp and all these other applications can support that same stuff too. But for the stock Google Messages application, there is no unsending button. There's no, I mean, you can delete stuff, but there isn't a way to actually unsend actual messages after you've sent them because there's no iMessage here. You know, there's only iMessage here. Now, on top of that, there are some additions to the lock screen. Now, there is some, you know, native customizability you can do with your lock screen on Google. Unfortunately, I don't think it's actually at the same caliber as something like the iPhones. So if you make your way over to your iPhone's front screen here, as you can see, we can go and hold on to here and we can click customize and we can actually customize quite a bit of our lock screen on our iPhone. So we can add a new photo. We can do all sorts of different stuff. And that's something that I really do like. On the Android side, we do have the ability of customizing a few things. As you can see, we can add text to lock screen. We can double line clock. You can have a now playing option, always show time and all this other stuff. But I do think when it comes down to the customizability aspect, the iPhone on iOS 16 probably has a little bit more feature full of an experience on this side and then on something like stock Android, at least from at least what I'm seeing. Now, another big thing is actually with a one cool feature within iOS 16, which actually allows us to natively crop out images from the background without having to bring it into a different applications or anything like that. So like I said, this is comparing stock Android. I know there's 30,000 applications that can do this, but one thing, if I go and click here, if I hold down on this dog, you should be able to see that I can go ahead and crop this dog out and I can go ahead and bring this over to another notes too, like I showed earlier. I can drag and drop that dog without having to crop anything, Photoshop anything, and nothing like that. It natively brought that dog out. On Android, there really isn't a feature like this, like I've stated. There may be some cool things you can do here and there, but if I wanted to crop out something, holding it down is not going to allow me to do anything like that. So I think that's a really cool feature that iOS 16 brought that, you know, Androids don't really have. On top of that, another cool feature, I know there's applications I can do this too, but iOS 16 actually with macOS Ventura gives us the ability of using our webcam completely wirelessly and natively and in a super awesome way with our Macs that Androids don't really have right now. Like I said, if I make my way to the Play, you know, Play Store, I'm sure if I type in wireless webcam, there's 30 applications I can do that. But natively with macOS, it works very well, it's wireless. And I do think that's another cool thing that iOS had that Androids don't really have right now, at least natively. Now on top of that, there is a little live text feature. Now, like I said, applications can definitely happen and you can definitely have things within this specific screen that can copy text and stuff. But one thing I noticed is within videos, you can actually do live text in. So you can copy text from a video. That's amazing. With Androids, I think they're probably going to start going down that direction. I know you can copy text and other stuff, but from videos, you have that ability on iOS, which is really cool. You also have things like SharePlay, which I think is really cool. And obviously there's Apple, you know, native applications like FaceTime and iMessage and stuff. I wasn't really going to go down that road too much, but the ability of unsending iMessage, the ability of being on your screen and like sharing your screen and all this other stuff, I think is really cool. Like I said, Androids have features like, you know, Google Meets and other things 
things like that that allow you to kind of do the same thing. But for the most part, those are the main, I would say, features that iOS has that Androids pretty much still don't have for the most part. So I would love to hear your thoughts about this one. Like I said, I'm going to be doing the exact opposite of this video very soon. So keep it locked down on the channel, but that kind of covers it. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, help me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.